Hey, welcome back. My name is Chad Kennedy, and we are working on a Nambe Nulu sword. We are to the point of working on the handle, and we've got all the pieces um, that we need to build, so we are going to start with the pommel. The first thing that we're going to do is put a dab of flux on the end of a 1024 machine screw, and we're going to heat it up so that we can get just a little glob of solder on the end of it. Uh, we're going to put a piece of stainless steel onto this screw and that's going to be our pommel. Now the way that I get the screw perpendicular to this piece of stainless steel is that I put it in the drill press. So uh, I've cleaned up just a little bit, scratched up the end of that uh, solder that's on the end of the screw and then I dip it in flux again. Uh, my plate of stainless steel is completely clean and then I chuck up this in the drill press and I line up uh, the plate. I've got a sitter mark on it and uh, just line it up right underneath it and then I'm going to add just a little bit of flux to it. This is going to be just like soldering the end of that screw. I'm going to heat it up uh, until that piece of stainless gets like a dull red and then I'm going to switch my heat up to the top side and press down with the drill press and I, what you'll see is just a real small line form all the way around the screw. It's just a shimmery line, and that's when you know that that solder is, is flowing into the stainless, and you're done. Now, the next part's a little tricky. Uh, I've got a circular pommel in mine, and I do not have a lathe. So what I've done on my old grinder is I've got a little hole drilled in my work rest, and I'm gonna stick that screw down in that hole. And this is exactly what that hole is for. Uh, I drilled it while I was doing forged and fire uh, for this exact same process here. Uh, but you stick that uh, screw down in the hole and then you can rotate that piece of stainless around and just shave off just a little bit every time. And then once I complete one revolution, then I scoot my work rest in just a little bit and work that piece around again. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but it's really not that bad. It's a great way to get around not having a lathe. Now we're gonna have some cleaning up to do on this. Uh, I've obviously just been using a 50 grit belt on this and we wanna get this up to almost a mirror finish. So uh, once we get done here, uh, just get the final touches done, I will move over to the drill press and start cleaning up with sandpaper. This is pretty simple and self-explanatory, um, but all I do is run through the grit. So I lift off at 50 on the belt sander. So I'll go 120 and then go, you know, 220, 320, all the way up to 2000 on this. And it's gonna give you a really pretty finish and uh, kind of a spiral uh, sanding polishing effect out on the end. The next thing I'm gonna do is build a swivel coupling nut. This is a 1024 coupling nut. And I've got a 1 8 drill bit that I'm gonna drill a hole in one end of it. Then I'm gonna take a 1 8 end mill and turn the coupling nut 90 degrees and mill a slot in it a little bit past halfway. I just wanna do it at least an eighth inch past where that hole is. Now you can do this without a mill. I used to do it uh, with just a sawzall and then uh, after I cut a slot in it, I would go back in with a file and you can do the same thing with a hacksaw. You can see with this thing swiveling on the end of your tang, it allows the angle of the pommel and screw to be adjusted and it's gonna line up every time. Now it's time for the globes. I'm gonna cut two blocks exactly the same size and drill holes in the center. Next, we're gonna go over to the grinder and repeat the same process that we did with the pommel. This is gonna go a lot faster than how we're working with wood this time. But cutting those blocks exactly the same size will make it to where we, when we finish rounding the, all the corners off, the circles are gonna end up the same size. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is weld a 1032 screw onto my work rest at an angle. 
I know you probably don't want to do this, but this is a good way to get that, uh, I'd say around a 45-ish uh, angle beveled on these globes. And it's gonna be the same process all over again. You're just gonna scoot it a little bit closer and then take off a little bit of material and then scoot it a little bit closer again. Now you can see I left a little flat spot in the middle of this, but there's a reason for that. I'm gonna put a fuller right down the middle. And for this, I'm gonna go over to the drill press and use a file. And first I'm gonna scribe a line to get me started. Uh, make sure it's right in the middle. I'm doing this with a triangle file. And then next I'm gonna move to a round file and make that fuller rounded. I'll move on from here, just like I did with the pommel and work my way up to the grit, starting with about 100 grit right here. Um, I also gotta take the round file and run that sandpaper through the middle. But you see, once you get finished, it gives you a nice smooth finish. I'll go ahead and put this thing together and let you see uh, how it all works. Now, I've had to make an adjustment. The screw I used wasn't long enough. It was the longest one I had, but what I've done is taken another coupling nut and put a small screw in it and then peen the end where it doesn't move. Um, that gives me a little bit of an extension. Uh, but everything's real nice, tight fit, uh, which is exactly what you want, especially since I'm going to have to take the handle off to do silver wire inlay on it later. You want to make sure that you can finish the handle and put it on it ends up in the same spot every time. The next step is going to be finish up the blade. We're going to etch it to reveal that Damascus pattern. We're going to do that in the next video. If you like this, subscribe to it, give it a like, drop me some comments or questions, and I'll get back to you. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.